Ned Eckersley hit an outstanding 100 before Rob Taylor struck the penultimate ball of the Yorkshire Bank 40 match at Grace Road for six to take his Leicestershire side home by three wickets with one ball to spare in a thriller against Yorkshire. Batting first, the visitors looked to their captain Andrew Gale to get them off to an explosive start. He hit a number of early boundaries as he dominated an opening partnership of 40, which was made off the first six overs, Gale racing towards the 30s in a flash. Starved of the strike, his partner Dam Hodgson never really got going, but it took a good one from Robbie Williams to bowl him for eight. The boundaries then dried up completely before Gale, who'd been on 27 from 30 when Hodgson was out, departed himself for a 45-ball 31 when he was also bowled, this time by Taylor. Indeed, Leicestershire were rewarded for bowling straight, as next to here the death rattle was Alex Lees, who went for 28 as Yorkshire stumbled to 91 for 3 at the halfway stage of their innings. Only two fours have been hit between overs number 6 and 20, so when the inform Gary Balance was able to find the boundary more than once off Michael Thornley, it would have been with some relief for the visitors, who were finding scoring their runs quickly a rather difficult task. Balance at least kept his wicket intact and his fourth four off his 54th delivery carried him to yet another half-century, his third in list day cricket this summer. Adam Lythe supported him well in a partnership which added 80 runs in 13 overs, taking the total to 170 in the 33rd. But then Lythe on 36 missed time to hit off Williams to be caught by Taylor at long on. Balance was out for 56 in the next over before Shiv Thackle was brought on and struck immediately by knocking back Liam Plunkett's leg stump. That left Yorkshire in a spot of bother on 178 for six with 35 balls left, but Josh Cobb's decision to return to the attack for his last over proved costly as Azim Rafiq struck him for four before twice depositing him over the ropes off successive deliveries for sixes, just what the doctor ordered for the visitors. Cobb did get his revenge next ball as Rafiq almost threw himself over the boundary as he became the fifth Yorkshire batsman to be bowled but he had smashed 18 off nine balls. Thanks to that, Yorkshire ended on 228 for seven, a score they looked capable of defending when they grabbed two early wickets. Niall O'Brien nicked off. Before, in the same over, the fifth, Greg Smith was yet another to be bowled, this time by Plunkett. That left Leicestershire on 21 for two after five, but they still had Cobb at the crease, a man who'd started this season's competition with three hundreds in three innings. Naturally, he couldn't keep that form up, but he's still capable of a very handy knock or two, as the Yorkshire attack was soon becoming aware of. Having made 45 out of the 55 runs on the board, he was outfoxed by Azim Rafiq's incredibly slow delivery, which he miscued to plunk it at mid-off. Eckersley tried to pick up where Cobb had left off, as in the first innings of the match, fours were hard to come by in the middle overs, but at least Eckersley and Matt Boyce were able to keep their wickets intact as they carried the total to 95 for three at the halfway stage, leaving a further 134 to get off the second 20. Eckersley played a magnificent hand. His first 50, only his second in this form of the game, was a steady one. It had occupied 62 balls with five fours included and he'd left his side 104 to get now off the final 15. Eckersley then upped his game, timing his innings superbly. The 28th over was the one which really put the hosts on top. 20 runs came off it with Eckersley twice clearing the ropes off Azim Rafiq who also twice delivered no balls with slow deliveries above waist height on the full. Boyce didn't make the headlines like his partner, but his innings was also a very valuable one, as he helped put on 103 runs for the fourth wicket in 17 overs. But just when he appeared to be guiding his side home, he was yorked by Ian Wardlaw for 37. And then Moen Ashraf got in on the act by having Thakor taken behind to leave the Foxes with 61 to get off the last eight overs. All eyes now turned to Eckersley, who kept his head and took two fours off and over from Plunkett, which took the runs required down to 37 off 30 balls. As long as he could stay in now, then a victory for his side would surely be a formality. 
He's never batted as well as this in the one-day format, and he appeared to be racing his side home as he added another 12 runs off the next over, with this huge six included. So 25 were wanted off four overs when he drove Wardlaw for his 10th four to take him to an exceptional 100, which had also included three maximums. It was the first time that the 24-year-old had reached three figures in one-day cricket, and he got there off only 98 balls. But the drama wasn't done with yet. With 16 required off 21 balls, Thornley drove Wardlaw to lie at mid-on. And then Eckersley for once miscued, delivering a simple catch to Plunkett off Ashraf. Eckersley departed for a quite brilliant 108, which had taken his side to within 12 runs of the winning line. But with him gone, the rest struggled. Five were needed off the last over, but only one came off the first four balls until Taylor got enough off this shot off Wardlaw, enough to carry the ball over the boundary for a six. Wow, it had been a tense finish, but Leicestershire had done it. They won by three wickets with just one ball to spare to win for the fifth time this summer to just about keep alive their dreams of claiming a semi-final spot. It's a tough group though, and they must keep on winning, including their next game, a very important one again with Gloucestershire in Bristol on Tuesday.